And I'm coming to you with this very important video to show you the space that I have going on right now that I've been working on since like before the pandemic hit and the quarantine happened. So it's like a base that's been around for a hot minute. Um, especially as we are approaching on our one year anniversary of being told to quarantine. So with the added fact that I start streaming on the server more um, recently and I just feel like it might be raided soon or and or grouped, I think it's time to um, eat dinner and show you around my base. So it's forever shaped because I'm pretty impressed with how long this particular base has been in existence. So this is basically the main, well, probably yeah, the main chest area. Like these are all my drop junk chests that never seem to be organized. And this is, this wall is literally the original cave wall that's never been destroyed. Everything else has been mined out, as you can see. But this one still originally generated. Except for like those two blocks. And on the other side, we have a um, glass furnace, which at this base has been found, but um, they left most of it intact. Like they just destroyed some of the like pyramids that I had set up, set up for beacons. They destroyed the chests. Um, above the furnaces and the hoppers, but they didn't take the hoppers and they left literally everything. Um, so really confusing, but like that means the space is still in the existence. It's just compromised. So another reason to record this is a pit of uh, stone related storage. I have a lot of horses. Like, I have a lot of horses, and it makes the mob count, entity count, kind of ridiculous. And, um, I don't really like that stone thing right there, and I know I put it there for aesthetic reasons, but, like, it doesn't really, there's, like, no other stone around here. I'm sorry. Talking about my design decisions that really are just, like, impromptu, improv, like, oh, this feels like I should place this here. A nice little um, well that I built one day. Um, all these trees are whole storage for that specific wood or saplings. Some, um, this is the original bee farm that was made by Dillinger when he was first uh, exploring bee mechanics in the game of Minecraft. And this thing, well, this is the barn with so many of my horses that I like to breed. Um, but down here, this used to be a little bit more enclosed, but we have a spider spawner um, that I don't really use as much anymore. There's just a lot of random rooms around here we can run around. Um, my intention was to fill all of these with animals and then I built it or started building it and then realized the, when I'm not on my like actual desktop computer or I'm trying to stream desert it's not as fun to play. Um, over here is the chest board I built after watching the Queen's Gambit on Netflix and I was like I want to build a chest board so I built this chest board and yeah, that's how it went. Um, over here, we have a little podium for first, second, and third place, but it looks really, really derpy. Um, basically, a lot of this is just me testing out how blocks look with each other. Like, I really, I've never built, um, tried building with this block before so I wanted to try that and you know what it's a it's a look if I ever want to go with the checkerboard black and white aesthetic definitely remembering this combination here is one of my many lovely lovely farms very entertaining see well okay 
Interesting. See, I feel like if I took that down or Dillinger took that down, they would take out everything, but it's just like weirdly half taken down. So it's like somebody came here and messed around with things, but I mean, not enough to destroy everything, which I appreciate. Really appreciate this being, you know, still in existence. Um, over here, at one point, I do not hate this combination. Actually, this is a good job, I think, in my opinion. You, you're welcome to disagree. That was supposed to become a villager mob farm before I took a break, slash villager also took a break. Um, and we have just yet to go on and finish that. Um, yeah, most of this is mined out by hand. Like with, mm, I maybe had a beacon for half of it and most of it is just me like tuning out the world and digging along. Uh, this used to be fields upon fields of, of berry bushes. Um, don't, not anymore, as you can see. I took it all down because I am converting it into like a little town area, apparently. I don't know, started building on stream. That's the way it went. Down here, over there is another uh, spider farm or spider XP grinder. Um, don't, haven't decided what this is yet. This is the little area, my enchanting room over here that I built um, because I didn't like my old enchanting room. Yeah, just fun little projects on stream that I'm not intending to build anything magnificent or grand because again, it's very likely it's going to be um, griefed and found and destroyed, but I like the bamboo here. I just like placing the bamboo everywhere. I like the look of the bamboo forest. I don't know. Here's a little, I think Stream decided this was a bungalow. And it's basically where I like keep or I'll like store like upcoming projects. I have a bed up here because I felt like, you know, this was a nice place to keep a bed. And there was nothing else up there. So yeah, that is uh, that area so far. Um, we have some more storage, right? Like another storage pit that's pretty much the exact copy. I have several um, trader llamas just kind of hanging out around um, just because. Um, yeah, this is going to be the start of a little jungle-ish field. Nothing too exciting over here yet. Um, I'm kind of at a point of hiatus of building and expanding the underground base or any part of my base. Another spider spawner. Here I have not even explored that part of the mine shaft. I am planning on taking down this entire block anyways. Here, I don't know, these are bone brick, bone blocks. I was like, I want to make a tunnel of bone things that happen in my head. Down here, it's gonna be a whole field of nether wart. Here's where I collect and farm some vines. Down here, I'm gonna have a dark oak cottage fairy forest type of deal with mushrooms and we have a villager. Um, random storage, nothing exciting, a little tunnel that I built, it was like, my idea was like, what would a tunnel of love look like if I were to build one? And this was the beginning of it. And then I was like, cool, <laughs> now I know, and I'm not interested in like continuing a tunnel of love. Over here, we have a bee base, bee base. Uh, bee farm that's partially destroyed because a uh, zombie, not zombie, creeper came up. Um, and the rest of it is really just like mining for materials. 
I have random outposts like stored away, random zombie villagers like here and there just like for future use and if I need it in case of emergency. Over here we have some, um, I mean it's a pumpkin and melon automatic farm that like they're constantly loaded so they're constantly like just producing things and it's you know a good passive way to gather resources and materials that doesn't require me having to go and farm them so here is the beginning ish well begin the center of the beginning i didn't show you the entrance to this place because and the exit to my underground place because i you know be a little precautious we have the original sugarcane farm from the very beginning of this like base area we have the sheep we had a second pen sheep. Um, all these natural pools were already here and then I just kind of expanded the farmland around them and then built dark oak trees around them as fences. I would bone, like put them in a line and bone meal and then just add the wood. It's been a long process. Was very inspired by Anne of Green Gables throughout this entire deal over here haven't really put anything yet but here is when the big farm starts um yeah there is see i have a lot of just random areas bases um i don't i think i cleaned out this particular storage system yeah, see, like, there's so many places where I'm like, oh, I don't even <clears throat> remember making this area. See, what a place, man. Um, a whole berry field, nice. Some bedrooms. Um, yeah, definitely I think somebody was here because I used to have chests in here. Well, there was also a fire, a lightning came and burned down this part of the upper base. I had a chicken coop everywhere. You can see what used to exist. I, I have come by and cleaned up a lot of it, but you know, it was fully enclosed by trees and then lightning just came and I was working on making a second level of tree so it would be even more enclosed. You can see the dirt blocks of where I put the saplings and um, yeah, no more. It's a, it's a grand pity. But luckily this area stayed intact, which is my schoolhouse, which means like the universe wants us to learn. And it is just the first true schoolhouse based on like the one room schoolhouses up here it is like more random storage and a bed for, you know, teachers. Very sparse, Spartan. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. Um, you can see some of the damage. I. I think there's a staircase. Yeah, there's a staircase over here. So, I, yeah, I have started making a second level and then fire. The fire. I definitely do have ideas of how I can fix this area and still, like, keep the fact that it was at one point burned down and, like, make that part of, like, the architecture and story of this upper base, but that's like a later problem. And over here is just like a bunch of, um, this is where I've been moving my like farming, my tree farming. So what I'll do is like, I'll expand the base and then slowly just move the tree line further and further. And so, yeah, it's just been slowly and steadily growing 
for the past year and I'm pretty into it. Like I'm not that into it. It's not the most favorite of my bases, my craft bases I have ever created, but it is a pretty solid base if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, attentions to one day build a whole jungle area over here. We have a lighthouse that Dillinger made and a, a complete greenhouse. And that's uh, pretty nice. You know, adds to the overall build. Over here, we have the tons and tons of cows. And uh, yeah, that's basically the gist of the base so far. That's a whole 16 minutes of content, basically, that I have uh, given you now. And a challenge to people who like to ruin projects and lives by going and griefing the Minecraft server. This is for you. Oh yeah, this is where I would come sometime. I should finish this out. Recommendations. My recommendation tree for people who are interested in it. There's also all the books that I read in August. Um, well, not all of them, but a large amount of them. Not a large amount of them but like eight of them. And yeah, and then we do have some pumpkins, uh, some just large pumpkins. And yeah, that's basically the gist of my base, guys. I do have like unfinished projects like this big Christmas tree that never got done. Um, I haven't really thought about what I want this expanded area to become. Like, do we want a full-on pumpkin patch? You seem angry at me, sir. And I don't know why. Why are you angry? Okay, you're not angry anymore. Can you... Okay. Um, that was great. Anyways, so yeah, this is my base. I've had a wonderful time showing you around. I am very excited for the fact that I might be inviting chaos into it now. Um, which, you know, will happen. It will be a thing. What can you do? I don't... Okay. Um. Yeah, see, I, I just have like a lot of just random horses everywhere. Um, and what's up here? I have some more mobs. Yeah, I like never venture up over here, so it's interesting to see. All right, guys, I think that's enough for show and tell. Um throwing down the gauntlet to see if anybody is going to come brief me. I like say all this knowing that it's very likely going to happen soon. It's okay. We made this video and it will forever record, you know, the base that has gotten us through the pandemic in large part give and take a few breaks here and there. But I should go find some bones to feed that little party. I forgot there's a little thing over here that I started building. See, random things that I just have randomly that I never finished. Okay, that's all for now. Guys, have a great night. Sleep tight. I'm gonna finish my mac and cheese, which I never actually took a bite off <coughs> through the 20 minutes of recording this, so. It's a little cold now. But it's fine. It's mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.